And a recent survey found that over 50% of passengers were not in favour of a ban of any kind. This debate has been sort of bubbling under for a year or more now. I mean, Michael O'Leary's come out and sort of called it out, and that will give more... Uh, it will give it more traction, and the government's already looking at ways to be able to solve this problem. Unfortunately, it, it's not just uh, from the UK, for example. Um, Ryanair said that passengers departing Germany and Ireland can sometimes be disrupted, and it's fueled by the stag and hen do's sort of boozy holidays, um, particularly on low-cost carriers, EasyJet and Ryanair in particular, you know, they have the biggest problem. So something in the end, something has to be done to address this. Final word to you, Amy Anzel. How do we do this? What, breathalyze people before they get on? Perhaps. I mean, whatever it takes, right, to get there safely. So although you want to give people the freedom to drink, enjoy, maybe they're going on holiday, maybe they're going on a half business, half holiday kind of trip, you want them to enjoy themselves, but also get to their destination safely. So if it requires a breathalyzer or some sort of test before